Yo, what is going on, you guys? This is Gaming What's Sound. Welcome back to the channel after a very long time. I know, you guys, I haven't been uploading to YouTube for quite a while now, but there are a couple of good reasons to why that is. I'm not going to discuss it in this video, maybe later on in a future video. But for now, I want to go ahead and talk about Modern Warfare, because if you guys don't know already by now, which would be a huge surprise, multiplayer footage has finally been released for the public to see. And finally, we get to see some actual in-game footage of Modern Warfare 2019. Guys, when I first got this news last night i was super excited i couldn't wait to see some gameplay and let me tell you this right now at first i was kind of thrown off by the gameplay and not necessarily in a bad way because my first impression was this looks a lot like rainbow six siege and i'm not really sure if i feel like that's totally a good thing or a bad thing just yet but from a graphical standpoint modern warfare does look very appealing at first sight a lot of people were complaining that when it comes down to the graphical standpoint of the game it wasn't as impressive as they thought it would be but maybe who knows i could be wrong on this we were watching these streams from twitch at like what 900p 60 frames per second instead of the full 1080p and plus whenever we actually sit down and play the game for ourselves versus watching it on stream like on twitch or on youtube the game is going to end up looking different in those two situations but once again that's just my opinion i could be totally wrong maybe whenever we do get our hands on the game it probably won't be as graphically impressive for some of you guys as you may have hoped but for me personally i think the game looks pretty amazing especially since it's still in like that alpha stage right now. Anyways, what I want to go ahead and do now is basically talk to you guys about everything that has been confirmed from these gameplays of Modern Warfare's multiplayer and basically talk about what the maps are going to be, the equipments, the weapons, the attachments, everything like I said we know basically so far. So let's go ahead and first talk about the maps. So we have three maps that were revealed to us called King, Pine, and Stack. Now here's the thing you guys, these maps are specifically for this new 2v2 or 1v1 mode called Gunfight and they will not be in the regular rotation for matches like team deathmatch domination obviously because these maps are way too small for modes like that and it was specifically made for once again this new gunfight mode that's coming to the game next up let's go ahead and talk about some of the equipment that i have noticed from these gameplays so we have about three tacticals that at least i saw and this includes the stim the flash and the stun grenade and then for lethals we have the frag grenade the semtex the proximity mine the claymore a molotov and the throwing knife now the one thing i do want to go ahead and talk about in regards to the equipment is is the stim tactical equipment now for all of you guys who have been playing black ops 4 for the past year yes you are right this is basically the stim shot from bo4 making its way back into modern warfare now here's the thing you guys i don't feel like there's anything to panic about if you were someone who did not like the manual healing system in black ops 4 because based off of what some of these youtubers who already got to play the game are saying and from the gameplay itself it seems like that auto regen health is still going to be in modern warfare like it was in all past call of duty games besides black Black Ops 4. However, the stim tactical equipment is going to be there if you want to go ahead and regen your health even faster than what the game already does for you. Sort of like how back in Infinite Warfare we had an equipment called I believe the Nano Shot and basically it was the same thing as the stim shot in Black Ops 4. Except once again it just allowed you to regen your health a little bit faster than what the game already does for you. So auto regen health seems like it's going to be making its way back into Modern Warfare but at the same time we still have the stim tactical equipment there for people who want to go ahead and use it which I really like a lot because it's not forcing everyone to follow that manual healing system like bo4 is making its players do so that's one thing i really like when it comes down to the stim equipment next up let's go ahead and talk about the weapons now in these gameplays i'm pretty sure there are a couple of weapons that i probably missed out on or they could be weapons that we haven't seen at all and some of the other youtubers who got to play this game a little bit early have gotten their hands on it and we're getting confirmation from them that these weapons exist in the game anyways let's go ahead and go through the list so the first weapon i have on our list is the AUG. Now, when it comes down to the AUG, I'm not really sure if it's going to be an assault rifle or an LMG like how it was back in Modern Warfare 2, but from the looks of it and how it plays, I'm pretty sure it's going to come back as an assault rifle, but don't quote me on that. Next up, we have the FR-556, or also known as the FAMAS for Modern Warfare 2, and of course, this will also be an assault rifle. We also have the M4A1 making a return, once again, an assault rifle. And then moving on to SMGs, we have the MP5 and the MP7 that we got to see gameplay of, and when it comes down to something like the P90, this was was confirmed by exclusive ace and that he saw and played with this weapon or a weapon that is somewhat similar to the p90 but it wasn't shown in the gameplays that we saw through the twitch streams earlier today next up with the lmgs we have two of them that we got to see and they were the l86a2 and the m91 now for something like tactical rifles we only got to see one and that was the m14 and even then we only probably saw like maybe two three minutes of gameplay with it probably even less than that now for sniper rifles once again we only got to see one and this was called the ax50 for shotguns we have the model 6.62 
680 and the 725 which is also known as the ranger shotgun once again coming back from games like modern warfare 2 and then finally for pistols we have the m19 and the deagle is making its way back which is known as the 0.50 caliber gs in this game once again you guys as far as weapons go i probably missed out on a couple of them because i did go back through the entire stream from syndicate and from all the other youtubers who got to play the game a little bit earlier and stream it so if you guys did see a weapon that i did not cover here on the list go ahead and comment down below of what those weapons were all right moving along let's go ahead and talk about attachments now because here's the thing with attachments there's a lot of interesting things going on and i'll explain more as i'm done listing all of these attachments out so let's go ahead and talk about the grip so i saw many types of grips in this game there's one called the cbq grip the angled foregrip the custom foregrip and the vertical foregrip for sights we have the reflex sight which is like your normal red dot sight you have iron sights of course sniper scope scout combat optic which is basically just a regular like two times scope the corp combat hollow sight which is your regular holographic sight from past modern warfare games and then for stocks we have the short stock the heavy stock and the lightweight stock as well as a no stock which once again we'll go ahead and talk about more in detail later on we also have long barrel custom barrel and short barrel we have the compensator which seems like an attachment that's only for lmgs we also got attachments like fast up bipods laser sight muzzle brake extended max and long slide which i've only seen being used on pistols and i'm not sure if this is basically like the long barrel but just for like the pistol weapons now when i said that there was a lot of interesting things going on with these attachments i feel like you guys kind of get an idea of where i'm going with this as soon as you heard the list of all of the attachments that i just talked about for example when it comes down to stock it seems like there's different types of stock and they might do different types of things depending on what weapon you put them on like for example short stock versus heavy stock versus lightweight stock and the fact that i even mentioned no stock because when it came down to the gameplay it did talk about how some of the weapons did not have a stock at all which i don't understand why you would need to put that in there unless if that actually significantly changes the way the weapon works so that's something to keep in mind and when it comes down to even the long barrels we have a long barrel a short barrel and a custom barrel i don't understand what it means by custom barrel as well as something like the custom foregrip when it comes down to the grip attachments i don't know if that means that you can go ahead and cosmetically choose which grip you want and that's what that means or if you can actually choose how the grip is going to actually help your weapon and that's why it's called a custom foregrip or a custom barrel i'm not really sure you guys but once again a lot of new attachments that i have never really heard of before and old attachments making a return but making a return in a unique way that we haven't seen before so once again i just wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys as well in today's video and with that said that's pretty much all of the information that i could have gathered from these different gameplays that i've seen from today and everything i shared with you guys today is basically 100 confirmed because like i said these are actual things that i saw from the gameplays that we got to see earlier today so let me know in the comment section below of what you guys think of these maps these weapons attachments equipment etc i would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below if you guys want to go ahead and share them but before i go ahead and close out today's video i do want to go ahead and talk about a few additional things that are on my mind in terms of today's gameplays for modern warfare's multiplayer mode so like i said earlier you guys this looked a lot like rainbow six siege to me it kind of even felt like i was watching battlefield for a second based off the way these players were moving with their weapons and just the way the characters would sprint like i said i'm not really sure how i feel about this just yet i feel like i need to get my hands on the controller and play the game for myself in order to make a final fair judgment but at the same time there are a few new mechanics that i did notice within these gameplays that have been added to modern warfare such as the new mounting mechanic which whenever you go up to like a wall or a corner of a wall you have to press down a button such as square and then your character would mount around that environment and basically be able to lean left lean right you know have more cover while also getting an advantage on your opponent sort of like the leaning mechanic back in ghosts and then we also have a new knifing mechanic which you kind of go into this third person mode and you actually like have this full-on new animation whenever you decide to knife someone sort of like once again battlefield but i'm not sure if this was just for gunfight or it's going to be in all of the modes but this was something that i did notice once again just wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys also there are two different types of sprint and basically how this works is you're going to have the normal sprint where whenever you click on your left stick once you run how like you normally do in every single call of duty game but apparently if you double tap the left stick you actually run much more faster with your weapon being holstered to your side and it's sort of like apex legends in a way right where you don't really put the weapon away but your weapon goes to a different position and you start to run much more faster but the only downside is you're gonna have a longer ads time after you're done sprinting whenever you're coming out from that faster sprint and then when it comes down to something like the sliding mechanic from black ops 4 that is going to make its way back into modern warfare we're not gonna have the dolphin dive or anything like that the sliding mechanic is coming back from the looks of it 100 health is also coming back and when it comes down to something like the stim shot 
shot. Like I said, it's going to come back as an equipment. It's not going to be where manual healing is the norm for modern warfare. I'm pretty sure auto regening your health is a thing. Don't quote me on it yet though, but I'm pretty sure it's a thing because if it wasn't, I'm hundred percent sure that these YouTubers would have mentioned it by now. And then finally, the last thing I want to go ahead and share with you guys is on August 1st, we are going to get our full multiplayer reveal. And basically it's going to be like, you know, those huge events for Call of Duty every single year. And we're going to get to see everything and anything that pretty much has to do with multiplayer for this game. So tune in on August 1st, come back to this channel. If you want on that day, I'm definitely going to be making videos about Modern Warfare when all that information comes out. And of course, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and do so because from now until then, I'm still going to keep uploading videos about anything Call of Duty related. And hopefully this time I don't have to disappear for a long time like I just recently did. Anyways, you guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, click the bell icon so you'll never miss an upload and follow me on my social media accounts to stay connected. Links will always in the description below and I will go ahead and talk to you guys in the next one. So take care of yourselves and bye.